Whilst wrestling fans may always associate The Rock with eyebrow raises and bombastic elbow drops, Dwayne Johnson is undeniably one of the biggest movie stars in the world. It's no surprise he and other wrestlers like Batista and more recently John Cena have found success in the world of cinema considering that wrestling shares theatrical commonalities. But it's not all Fast and Furious and Guardians of the Galaxy. In this list we'll look at some of the lesser known movies starring wrestlers from both the big obvious names and performers you may not have known were wannabe thespians. I'm Simon for WhatCulture.com and these are 10 underrated movies starring wrestlers. Number 10, The Rundown. Let's kick things off with the ultimate wrestler to actor example, of course we're talking about Dwayne The Rock Johnson. In only his second leading role, The Rock was the main attraction for The Rundown, a buddy cop movie from the director of Patriot's Day and Lone Survivor. He also directed Battleship, but the less said about that the better. Known internationally as Welcome to the Jungle, no not the Jumanji film that also stars The Rock, this movie has Rocky playing a bounty hunter on one last mission. He shares the screen with a host of recognisable faces like Rosario Dawson, Christopher Walken and none other than Stifler from American Pie, Sean William Scott. Don't mention pie around the rock though, you'll set him off. The rundown got good reviews and Johnson and Scott were praised for their on-screen chemistry. Unfortunately, The Rock wasn't quite the movie magnet he would become and the film flopped at the box office. Whilst not on the same level as some of his later action romps, The Rundown offers a fascinating preview of the man who would go on to electrify the world of Hollywood. Number 9 the Man with the Iron Fists. Let's get the other obvious name out there early as well. Dave Bautista is the second most successful former wrestler in Hollywood. Best known for appearing in Blade Runner 2049, Bond film Spectre, and many Marvel pieces as Drax the Destroyer, the former WWE champion appeared in some very odd movies before embracing the bright lights of conventional cinema. His fifth credited appearance was in the 2012 martial arts film The Man with the Iron Fists, which was directed by, of all people, Wu-Tang Clan member RZA. The musician also stars in the movie movie is its hero, the titular iron-fisted man who must unite a group of disparate warriors in order to save his village. On the flip side, Dave plays Brass Brody, a baddie who's capable of turning his body into metal at any time. To be fair, they probably didn't need a special effect for this, this is probably something that Batista can do in real life. Have you seen those traps? They're solid as steel. Starring alongside names like Russell Crowe and Lucy Liu gave the animal some serious acting credentials. If you fancy a look at him just before he hit it big with Guardians of the Galaxy, then this is the one to go for. Number eight. The Marine 6 Close Quarters WWE's The Marine franchise began in 2006 with who else but John Cena in the lead. Since then there have been five more movies in the series and the most recent one is actually the best of the bunch. The Miz took up the lead role in the series for its third instalment onwards. Becky Lynch stars in Marine 6 as the film's primary villain Maddie Hayes who has kidnapped Jura's daughter to blackmail him into letting her criminal father walk free. Carter and his old war buddy Luke Trapper as played by Shawn Michaels must get her back. The film crescendos quite spectacularly with a huge blowout that leaves the history of the franchise in doubt. Considering that this could be the last of the Marines, it's definitely not a bad way to bow out. Number 7. The Peanut Butter Falcon Starring Shia LaBeouf, Dakota Johnson and Zach Gotsigan, 2019's The Peanut Butter Falcon is one of the few films on this list actually about wrestling. It stars Gotsigan as Zach, a man with Down syndrome who escapes his assisted living facility to pursue a career in pro wrestling. Along the way he meets LaBeouf's character Tyler, who's on the run after ticking off the wrong people. The friendship the two form whilst out in the wilderness is the central force behind the film. You can't have a wrestling movie without a few wrestling cameos. Mick Foley stars as Jacob, a local promoter who hooks Zack up with his first match, and that contest is against Sam, played by none other than Jake the Snake Roberts. The film does an excellent job in shining a spotlight on Zack's condition as Gotsugan has Down syndrome in real life. It's also very touching and has a strong moral message about never giving up on one's dreams. Number 6. Santa's Sleigh Christmas movies aren't meant to be enjoyed with a certain level of kitsch glee. The same goes for B-level horror movies. Put the two together and you've got the campy gory delight that is 2005's Santa's Sleigh. The film stars former Universal Champion Bill Goldberg as Saint Nick himself, although in this version he's anything but jolly. He's actually the spawn of the devil, freed from a millennium old curse that forced him to deliver presents every Christmas Eve. And now that he's free to kill again, he does so in various holiday themed ways. He drowns a woman in eggnog, impales a person with a Christmas star and chokes someone with a turkey leg all within the first scene. Whilst it's not going to win any Oscars or make you rethink the meaning of life, Santa's Sleigh is exactly what it needs to be as a silly slasher film. Goldberg cuts a very menacing figure as a satanic Santa and there's even a few wrestling references in there like when he spears someone through a glass cabinet. This is also where he met the future Mrs Goldberg who plays a stripper in the film. So when you think about it, it's actually probably quite an important movie to bill 
himself. Number five, See No Evil 2. Glenn Jacobs was born to play a slasher villain. He's a giant, for starters, and has the menacing aura needed to pull off a psychotic, relentless monster character. Trying very hard to avoid all jokes about his political career, there's a reason the original incarnation of Kane worked so well. Big Red Machine got to flex his murderous chops in WWE Studios' first major production, See No Evil. That film ended with Kane's character, Jacob Goodnight, being killed off after stalking and murdering a group of teenagers with his signature hook weapon. Well, it certainly looked like he was killed off. Seven years after the original, Goodnight returned in See No Evil 2. This time he's out to murder a group of people trapped inside of a morgue. I guess he didn't want to walk too far to dispose of the bodies. See No Evil 2 is just as faithful to the slasher genre as its original. Full of inventive kills and a villain straight out of the Michael Myers playbook, fans of classic horror will absolutely love it. Number 4. Roaring Fire As you might expect from a man whose name is Abdullah the Butcher, this WWE Hall of Famer made a name for himself in some of the bloodiest, most violent matches pro wrestling has ever seen. Armed with his trademark fork and scars in his forehead so deep you could drive a car through them, Abdullah had many great battles with the likes of Bruiser Brody, Terry Funk and Mick Foley. In between getting absolutely battered, the Butcher also found time to appear in this Japanese martial arts film from the 80s. Roaring Fire, as it's known in English, is about a man named Joji whose attempts to learn more about his past get him embroiled in a scheme involving the Mafia. Joji is played by Hiroyuki Sanada, who was in both of the original Ring movies, Avengers Endgame, and played Scorpion in the most recent Mortal Kombat. Abdullah plays a character named Spartacus, who originally starts off as Joji's enemy, but the two eventually become friends, with Spartacus sacrificing his own life to save him. It's big, silly Japanese fun, so if you like that sort of thing, it's definitely worth seeking out. Number 3. Jushin Thunder Liger, Fists of Thunder The character of Jushin Thunder Liger, widely regarded as one of the best light heavyweights of all time, is based on a popular Japanese anime. So it's not surprising then that the famous wrestler got his own ridiculous movie. Fists of Thunder sees a fictionalised version of Liger struggling to come to terms with the demonic forces that haunted him as a child. Things get even worse when he's forced to compete in a match against a wrestler with demonic powers. The film went to extreme lengths to keep Liger's identity secret, even having a different actor play the character when he was unmasked. Much like Roaring Fire, this movie is ludicrous Japanese fighting at its very best. At one point, Liger and his enemy turn into giant beast versions of themselves and do battle in a car park kaiju style. And who can say no to that? Number 2. Mohawk Set in the midst of the War of 1812, Mohawk is about a member of the titular tribe and her encounters with the American forces slaughtering her people. It's a dark movie with plenty of bloody kills to satiate diehard horror fans, but it also has a strong social subtext about the mistreatment of native peoples. It's also the only film appearance of the late great John Huber, aka Luke Harper, aka Mr. Brody Lee. The AEW TNT champion plays Private Lachlan Allsop, a soldier in the American army who bears witness to the bloodshed on both sides of the conflict. He does a great job as a semi-sympathetic figure, always just a little bit outraged by what he sees. Brody puts in a good little performance here and the rest of the film was highly praised too. It's extremely refreshing to see the plight of Native Americans told in this way, plus the action is gripping and the characters are all well written. It's hard not to think what might have been for Huber's acting career had he not been taken far too young. At least this performance will live on, a showcase of yet another of his many talents. Number 1. Dave Made a Maze A quirky yet frightening fantasy horror movie, Dave Made a Maze is about a man who builds a labyrinth out of cardboard and accidentally creates a magical world full of deadly traps and mysterious creatures. The film is incredibly inventive and follows through with its unique premise to perfection. It's also incredibly funny, which contrasts to the bleakness of the situation perfectly. One of the creatures that pursues Dave and his friends through the maze is a Minotaur, in a modern twist on the classic Greek myth. Wrestling fans might not recognise the Minotaur purely from its upper body, but if they were to remove the mask, they'd see John Morrison staring back at them. Under his real name of John Hennigan, the Prince of Parkour plays the film's main antagonist and is responsible for a large portion of the drama throughout the plot. Whilst he doesn't have any lines, Hennigan does a great job in giving the Minotaur the huge foreboding presence it needs in order to serve as an effective antagonist in this incredibly charming picture. And that's the list. Let us know what you thought of this video down in the comments below. Have you seen any of these films and what did you think of them? And of course, let us know of any others that we missed. Make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe and hit that notification bell. I've been Cypher Culture, and have a good week.